was born in Arlington, November 30th, 1929. I went to the Pierce School, uh, Junior High West and Arlington High School. It wasn't rural, but it was quiet. Uh, you stayed in town for the most part. We had public transportation, so you could travel a lot, but we walked a lot. We would walk up to the reservoir and swim, and we walked all over town. It was just something you did then, something kids don't do now. And we played in the neighborhood a lot. You did a lot of things with the children in your neighborhood. Everybody, boys and girls. Whether you skated, played baseball, and we could sled until five o'clock at night. This was before World War II, and a lot of people were still in the Depression. And then when World War II came along, nobody really drove a car often. But I lived at the base of uh, Overlook and uh, Ronald Road, and it was quite a steep hill. I was about 10, so I'd say, I think around 10, about 1939, I used to take my younger brother and we'd walk up to his studio, which was in a barn. Right. And if he was working, we were allowed to go in, he would stop work and he would give us clay to mold in our hands. And he was working on a very large piece. It was covered with damp canvas, and he would take the, take the canvas off and let us look at it. And Mrs. Dallin would come in, she'd bring cookies and lemonade. And I think he wore a smock sometimes, and a, was it a beret? Yeah. Yes. And he took a lot of time and spent it with the children which was, it was very exciting for us. This was a celebrity. A few years ago, we went on a Johnny Appleseed tour out toward the middle part of the state. And one of the stops was a small village where there were a group of artisans. And we went in the sculptor studio and I spoke with a sculptor. I'd seen, he did mainly Indians the eyes on the Indians were, uh, they were distinct, um, yeah. not like some of the other sculptors. You could see each fold in the eyelid. I told him they looked like the eyes on Cyrus Dallin's Indians. They were sort of distinctive. And he said, I studied under Cyrus Dallin. We were quite surprised because so many people haven't heard of him. Did uh, Cyrus any time, uh, I mean, uh, talk with you? Or? Yes, um, he would stop and talk with us. And he had some sort of a dedication, something that uh, was in next to the town hall. Probably sometime early 40s, I was still young, but I remember he told us about it and my brother and I went. There was a good crowd there. Do you remember any pieces in particular that you saw, uh, either in the studio or um, you know, in, the, uh, in the neighborhood? Well, the, um, the Indian monotony, that was one, that was the most impressive. Then we stopped going. I don't know if we grew up, or, of course, you, by then you were teens. Right. And you did other things. But it was a nice town to grow up in. We were very fortunate. Mm -hmm.